Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationers. Ah, uh, and we're back, still trying to terraform Mars. Ah, uh, base is getting a little bit bigger. It has got gas in it now. Um, uh, just at the old base still. This is still where my food is. I'm gonna have to let's see if I can maybe get my food growing it moved up into the new base by now. Ah, uh, so I'll get some fertilizer. Um, and uh, all the other stuff we got to do to to get that there. Um, right. So last time we did we did get um, uh, stuff. Uh, now we pressurized it. We put in all the grow lights. Set up the hydroponics. Um, it's just a matter of getting in there and automating. Now the water's in. The atmosphere is blown. Um, uh, what have we done? We've emptied this thing out, so only a few scrap things we've got in there. Now, uh, in between episodes, I've done a little bit of cleaning up. Now, I figured to get the uh, plant plant rooms up there, plant experiment chambers, I will need some pollutant. So I was just going to grab a tank of pollutant and uh, take it up there. So my gas tank of pollutant I've got is this one over here. Uh, well, they're all of these ones. Uh, so I put down a canister. Uh, if I put a canister down, I shall suck up the pollutant and then uh, let it cool down. Um, it's not cooling down. Uh, so that wasn't very good. I've only got 200 moles in this. That was rather pathetic. So um, I might have to take that downstairs to the cold tank and fill up a filtration system and actually get the cold pollutant out of the tank down there. Uh, so I might actually be able to fit a reasonable amount in the container. Uh, but we got water. Uh, I can probably switch the water diverter on. Don't need that anymore. Um, that's not the way it's meant to be hooked up. So uh, you there. I was collecting water for the other room, so uh, I had it hooked up to a stacker. Uh, there you. Oh, better fill up the oxygen too. Empty you out, fill you up, and probably you. Now you're pretty good. I'll take you anyway. Uh, right, that's that done. Um, now, uh, everything else done. Um, yes, uh, I'm still running out of hydrogen. There was a point where I was getting too much hydrogen and I had no way of getting rid of it all so I had to adjust my adjust my gas processing and now I've run out of uh, hydrogen so I'm going to have to uh, change probably change the gas or the ice sorting. The rocket said it's been a lot of time up on the landing pad unloading so perhaps I shall go up there and uh, put in some more sorters. Um, so up here we are above the ice sorters, uh, which are down below us, down there somewhere. So in behind that rocket I might put in some uh, more sorters and hook these up. Uh, perhaps put a chute on there. So I could put a hopper on there uh, where that comes out of the rocket. Uh, Up there I could put a hopper in just on the bottom here and just have that dump out into a vacuum filled room and then hook the hopper up. So I can come out and can just dump everything it's got and then take off again while the hopper is sorting through all the stuff that it had. Uh, then I'll probably need to put in some extra sorters out there because it'll still have to sort everything before the rocket comes back. So uh, we'll get there but that's probably not what we're going to be doing today. Uh, so now, oh, I put in an airlock. Aha! Awesome. Uh, so it takes a while to get in here now. Now, other airlock. Now it is only 58 kilopascals in here. Uh, so we probably want to put a minimum pressure in there. So that one's set to 70. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so let's set you to maybe 72. So 
up again. So we inflate this room to 70 kilopascals as a minimum. And we should be good. So I'll have to do that with this one and the other one. So uh, I should grab you. Uh, import that one. Now, this one here, we had to look at the pressure. If the pressure was over 80, um, switch the switch setting down to zero, otherwise switch to two. So I'll actually want to keep the pressure. So if I put pressure into one, so set our zero if the pressure is greater than 80, and that can keep on going there. Now, if the pressure is below 70, or there's not enough nitrogen, less than 65%, we we'll just put in nitrogen. So we'll put in um, either of them. So we have our pressure, which is uh, R1. Oops, so I shall also say set less than, set R1 if the pressure is less than um, 70. So if either of them are true, if it's less than 65% or less than 70 uh, kilopascals, uh, they'll be fine. So it'll be or R0, R0 and R1. Right, so it should keep filling up until it reaches that or that. So we should have 70 kilopascals in here. Uh, yep. Export. So it shouldn't go above 80. Uh, it should get to 70 though. We're up to 71. And back to 70. Well done. So, 70 kilopascals. Nice. So now I'll copy this to the other one. Something went click. Right. Okay. Uh, so now if both rooms are the same pressure, this airlock should uh, let us through. Uh, now in here last time I did put in the uh, ventilation system. Uh, temperature in here rose up to about 30 degrees, so I went and put a heap of airlocks on the ventilation pipe. A heap of uh, airlocks, heap of radiators up there. We can see them up there, and the temperature has come back down to 24 degrees. So the temperature is now dropping. So I might have to go and pull some of them off. Because uh, I want it to go down a little bit at night, then up during the day. That'll mean we've got the radiators balanced passively with the uh, outside temperature. Um, but uh, we, we haven't at the moment. So, uh, yep, that's it. Uh, now, export you. And you should switch on and you should get up to 70 kilopascals in here as well. Eventually. Uh, whoop. Right, so that is done. So I need to be able to put in a sensor to control these lights. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to put in the uh, uh, poop machine. Now, uh, put you in. Uh, you, yeah, I'll put you over there. Um, where? There. That looks good. Uh, so I'll need a frame to put in there. So I shall need pull you off. Uh, take you off. Um, pull you up and uh, grind. Right, now frames, you can go into there, and I can weld you up. And we're good, now you need, and, and nothing. Huh, cool. Uh, now, not you, or you. Thank you. I can probably put a window back near there now so I can 
make the wall look a little bit more sensible. Uh, eat. Um, eat further. There we go. And I can then come and do uh, class on there. What's a bit? I'll keep running into that now. Um, and some uh, critical stuff there. Uh, where are you? Because there's a limit to how much orange I can handle. Oh, that's better. Um, now, what are we doing? We're making that. So I shall need. Uh, I shall need some shoots. Um, ooh, a stacker. Can I fit a stacker in there? I can. So I need to get the water up to it. Uh, power, I shall need, if I can control it from over there, I have my chip, I have my reader, that one can control the room, that can control grow lights, I need a sensor for the daylight sensor, um, I have coded them up, the Harvey code is sitting in the green chips, I've still got to set up the pins because that's a uh, a bit of a painful experience, but uh, we'll get there. Now, batch slot reader I've put up here to read all of these things so as I can get a growth rate out of them. And uh, each of the Harvey codes can control three of these things, so three and three and three is four. Damn it. <laughs> ah, yeah, that was, uh, that was meant to happen. That was by design. Um, right now, um, so I want to put up them so walls. Let's put put up some walls there. Um, a flat wall, four of them, all done. Um, now, I'll put up you, I can put up you in a very unnecessary manner. I shall need, uh, Need a stacker. I shall need got cables, shoots, shoots. I do not have. Um, right. And, and some some stuff to chuck in there. That would be handy. I'm 70 kilopascals. Is it temperature? No temperature should be. Ooh, temperatures in Kelvin. Okay, so 10% on the temperature is probably not a good thing to put in that uh, that airlock code, is it? Um, right, so I might have to make some... Oh, it's probably the pollutants. It's 10% of zero is bugger all. Um, okay, didn't think that through. So I've got no pollutants in here. So there's no way some pollutants is going to be within 10% of uh, no pollutants. Right, really thought that through well, didn't I? Um, yep. uh, import you. Now, so, down the bottom, so the temperature. Now, it's out of Kelvin, so we're sitting at about 25 degrees, which is about 300 Kelvin. So it's plus or minus 30 degrees, not plus or minus 3. So I'll probably put a, a, a 0 0.03 on that one. So that'll make that a lot, lot tighter. Yeah, let's give it 0.6. Give it a bit more. About 6 degrees it can be. Now, the uh, volatiles and pollutants. Uh, so let's just, um, so 
So I don't want to compare them. How about if I just say we shall load batch um, maximum uh, maximum and get rid of you as well. And we should just say uh, set set less than uh, if that is less than um, one percent. Uh, yes, if we can leave that one in there. Uh, so set less than one percent. So reading, reading the volatiles maximum, if either side has more than 1% uh, pollutant, don't open it. Uh, how about we say 0 0.05, so half a percent. Uh, that should be better. So just a straight out percentage on the volatiles, volatiles and pollutant. Uh, confirm. And that's better. Right. So now we should be good. Well, it's daytime and it's getting colder. So I think I'm definitely going to have to rip off a couple of those uh, vents. It's getting, losing too much heat. Um, ideally, it'll just try and maintain itself. And then I'll just put in a heater to try and um, just kind of fix up any bits and pieces. Now in here, I have put in my... Uh, hydroponics units, so I made up a heap of them, uh, put up some sensors and some stuff, and uh, completely running out of room in each of these rooms now, so um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, but that's later, we're making up our poop machine. So, shoots, um, stacker, and some stuff to chuck in it. Uh, so, uh, you Oop. Uh, now, I could probably bring the refrigerator up here now, couldn't I? Oh, and uh, probably put that floor back down again. There we go. I didn't switch on my rockets. Do, do, do. So uh, uh, let's uh, let's fire up the rockets. So we've got to have them going because we need as much atmosphere as we can get. So on us, to us, three. There we go. Uh, now shoots the stacker. Got heaps of cables and some stuff to put in there. Oh, and when I cleaned out, when I cleaned out. The, uh, the, the uh, uh, recycler, the um, centrifuge. All the reagents came out of there. I had a, had a mass of them there. I've still got a crap ton of them, but uh, yeah, I've still got a crap ton of them. Uh, yeah. So I have steel, mostly steel, more steel, electrum. But I have found out with these ones here, they will smelt at any temperature and pressure. Uh, so you don't need the right temperature and pressure for the alloy. Uh, so if I just switch this on, it goes to you know, about 2 megapascals and 2500 degrees. Now switch it back down, whoop, down, there we go. Now it sits about there. If I put in something uh, and we just get steel, um, I can just uh, chuck all these in. So there's a lack. That's Inconel. Now Inconel doesn't smelt at one megapascal, yet here it comes. Invart does not smelt at that pressure. Uh, so 
once you've got the reagent mix for the alloy you can just chuck it in any old uh, furnace there and it pops out all done so uh, yeah cool uh, anyway so the things of astraloy other bits and pieces uh, you you don't hide there uh, you, you. Now I did spend an awful lot of time <laughs> picking them up. So, uh, oh, damn, there's still more everywhere. Uh, we all no, we're not all done. Uh, eat. Uh, do, do, do. Um. So now I have a crap ton of these alloys. This is what we've just got from all the recycling we've been doing. Uh, where were you? One there. Eight. Right, okay. Why not? Okay, it's got some wreckage from a satellite dish. Well, goodbye to you. Uh, yep. Uh, so, you. I think we're all cleaned up now. Yeah, that'll do us. As I say, there was a crap ton of it there, so I have been just hiking that back into the printers, and I now have a crap ton of ingots in all my printers. Uh, you, you, you. <laughs> yep. This might take a little while. Now I, sh I forgot the uh, I forgot the crap to put in the crap machine. Well, there comes one. Now shoot! I shall pop down there a yeetable inlet. Um, I shall need my stacker to go up there, so um, I'll need to remove you, Mr. Well Planned. Um, so now my stacker, uh, probably facing out the front. So put you around there. I can get to the. Thingy me, Bob. Oop. Oh, they only stack to 10, don't they? So 50 is close enough to 10. Uh, do, do, corner. There we go. We hook you up to there. You. No, you can just be a straight one for now. That'll do. So the power for you, you, and you. Um, I can get power from over there. So, put you into there. You to there. You to there. Um, cutters. Uh, you can go to there. Uh, Table in there if I go across there. Oop. Up to you. That'll hook all of that up. Yeah. Yeah. 
You should be there. There we go. Now you should have power. Uh, look, there we go. That's what you want. We have power. Nice. Uh, water. Uh, so I should have a water pipe in there. So everything's wired up. Uh, water pipe. I'm not going to have any pipes now, am I? Yes, I do. Damn, I'm good. Uh, oop. <sighs> yeah, I missed it. Ah. Ah, uh, yep, damn, I'm good. Now I need to vent this room because that'll be putting out hydrogen. Uh, I can get it to the recycle line. Hydrogen, nitrogen. I could just dump it. Um, I might just dump it. So I need power to you too. Right. Now, get up there you 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 inward all right now That should be everything. Uh, wall. Uh, that is everything, isn't it? Um, ah, some pipe on the actual machine might be a, a good idea. Uh, right, not quite done yet. Some pipes, uh, there's some pipes. So I can just put you straight out to the roof. To there, put a vent up there. Uh, no, I'm going to go outside. Ah, worth a try. Uh, Here you up. Now let's go put this vent outside and pipes and pipes. Now it is down to 19 degrees, so I do have to go and pull off some of these um, vents on the outside. Before it get too cold. Uh, nope. Now I put on 20 vents. And she started cooling down, so I might pull off maybe five of them. Uh, put the, that down before you forget. And she'll see how we go. Uh, I'll pull off five. So, now we one, two, eight, four, five. So that should still leave me with 15 up here. We shall see how we go. It still gets still getting hot. I shall rip off some more. Cool. No, oh, I missed it again. Ah, uh, pipes and some uh, 
and some stuff to uh, uh, put in there. Now, uh, oh, it's 19 degrees, it's too cold. I thought I had 6 degrees. Oh, 25, 19, yeah, that is 6 degrees, okay. Yeah, come on. Uh, now it's 22 degrees in here. Oh, it's happy now. Weirdo. Right. I think you can stay there now. So some pipes. I'll grab some walls so I can finish off that wall and just make it proper. Uh, flat wall. Some of them and some pipes I needed. Water pipes. Right, now. What yeah, what do I want to actually make this fertilizer out of? Growth speed or yield? Uh, so fertilizer. Growth speed, decayed speed. Ooh, decayed foods. So maybe I do want to make decayed food. If I put in food, I get the yield. Um, growth speed would be handy. Hmm, so if I get one with growth speed and then put in put in the uh, perennials. Yeah, so I might want to let something go crappy. I want to decay the food. Right, okay. Oh, that's probably enough. And one more. Just to use up that half one. Uh, right. Uh, probably enough from you too. That's really not enough. Uh, now I want some food. Probably bring the whole refrigerator, couldn't we? Uh, Wheat, ferns. The ferns might be good ones to bring. Well, that's all my stuff. Not my egg. Ah. Uh, that's going to take yeah a long time, but uh, it'd be a good one. Uh, right. You can come with me. You'll end up frigid hanging in there. <laughs> um, now uh, I've got I've got everything I want. It's going to make some decayed food, and we're good. Really, it's still temperatures being a problem. No, we're green. We're happy. Oh, it's 18 degrees in here now. Okay. And you. Now, boop. And boop. And boop. Uh, no, I can that one. You made me open the wrong container. Ah, uh, now. And you can go in there. We're going to torture some plants. You're a big fan of torturing things. Pumpkins. Yeah, whatever takes your fancy. Ah. Uh, now, we have... Did we have water in there? I'm pretty sure we did. We do, we have water, we have temperature, we have pressure. I can put in some ferns before they die. Uh, so I won't be ready to torture them for a little while. So I'll make a little shrubbery up here. 
Well, I can put a balcony outside. I can put a shrubbery outside. And every time someone goes past, I can shout, me, me, me. Um, but that'll be for later. Uh, until now, it's got a shrubbery in here. Oh, it's a nice one. Um, now, what are we doing? Uh, uh, water's hooked up. You're hooked up. Uh, let's start making some poop. Um, I have it sealed up. It's all sealed up. Now, I shall want some code. I should take ye. Um, and ye. There's a weird light thing going on there. Now, uh, these things, I shall want a sensor. Uh, I shall want a daylight sensor. Um, I could put it on the floor. Oh, on the roof. I should have, no, by cable. Ah, there we go. Right, I have a solar sensor there. Now zero is pointing down. It's midnight. So 90 degrees will be sunset, sunrise. Above 90 degrees is daytime. Okay. So, import, you've got nothing on there. That's it. Now, so I shall want to uh, alias the uh, sensor. TT0 and grow lights to find grow light uh, go light grow light um, to uh, grow light you uh, you So you're the other grow lights are batch right out to them. Uh, start yield. So I want to load into R0 from the sensor the. Um, uh, let's put light sensor. Because I might have well, more than one. Oop. Light sensor. So from the light sensor, I want the uh, vertical. Now zero is pointing down, so less than 90 is nighttime, greater than 90 is daytime. Now the plants get extra boosts of light if you have daytime and the light going on. So I can give them extra growth speed during the day by putting the light on. Uh, so I shall say a uh, set set greater than set R1 if the angle R0 is greater than 90, which means daytime. Right, and I can give them a bit of extra light at night time. So at sunset we shall give them some dark, sunrise will give them some dark, so between uh, 90 and say 30 degrees, that'll give them about 60 degrees of night time. So then from 30 to minus 30, be 60 degrees of light and 60 degrees of off. That should do us. So we shall set, uh, set less than, set R0 if the angle is less than 30. So greater than 90 or less than 30, switch the lights on. So it'll be or R0, R0 and R1, either of them is true, switch it on, uh, save batch, grow light on R0. Right, jump to the start, confirm, export, boop. You won't work because I want the sensor. The uh, daylight sensor. That's the one. And 
the lights are on still. Nice demonstration. Unknown at line six. Uh, that's why they're still on. Line six. Um, you have vertical in you. Vertical, you do have a vertical. You have a daylight sensor. Oh, okay, yep, now we're fixed. I had an error there before I set the pins. So, ah, uh, yeah, pull it out and put it back in again. Um, and it's daytime, so the lights are on as they're meant to be. Right, so that was great. Now, I want to read... I'll use this thing while I'm here. So I want to read in from the hydroponics device. Uh, slot the plant slot. We shall the efficiency and the yeah, average we find. That's minus one because they're all empty. Okay, that'll do. Uh, so I need to write that to that and we should be good uh, now so uh, alias the batch reader to d1 and alias the display to d2 and all I have to do is uh, load into R0 from the batch reader the setting and save. Uh, if I set it the display as a percentage, it won't display any decimal points. So I might just multiply it by 100. Uh, R0, R0, 100. And it'll just display as a decimal number, which will have decimal points. So save to the display the setting uh, zero. Uh, confirm, export. And we'll get an error because I want the batch reader, batch slot, and the display. Uh, oops, went the wrong way through them. Hydroponics, I see. Display. Right. Minus 100, because they're all empty. That's right. Now, you... Uh, let's put them down where they can turn to poop. Um, now, you, I have the vent, the composter, and the stacker. Uh, now, I have uh, alias com com composter d3 alias, spell it wrong again, alias the uh, vent D4 and oh, wow, <laughs> the uh, stacker to D5. Right, we shall uh, save to the vent mode 1, set it to inward so it'll suck everything out of there. Now, we're going to want to switch it on. So we want it on so we can activate it if there is more than three uh, things inside the composter. Or there's something in the input slot. So if we put something in the input slot and a zero in there, we want it to switch on still. So uh, now I shall have to say, 
uh, load to R0 from the composter uh, quantity, I think it is. And I just heard something go splot. Was that something just rotting and turning into poop? Uh, yep, there it is. Yeah, saw that one. You got two hours. We still got ages to go. Uh, right, now yeah, where were we? Whoa. Oh my kidding. Uh, right, now we want to load the quantity in there. Uh, so we shall say it will switch on if the quantity is greater than or equal to 3. So uh, set greater than or equal. R0, zero, if R0 zero is greater than or equal to 3. We want to switch it on. So we should load into, uh, well, we should load uh, from the slot into R0 from the composter. Uh, slot 0, the input slot. Uh, uh, quantity. Um, Right, so if the quantity is greater than zero, so I just use R, let's try R1, we've already used R0. Uh, so either of them, you want to switch the composter on. Yep. Uh, and yeah, and switch the vent on as well. So, and the stacker. Yes. Uh, right. So we shall uh, set. It will say or. Or R0, R0, and R1. So if there's something in the input slot, or we have more than three items in the composter, because it takes three items to actually make some compost. So we shall say uh, save composter on uh, zero. So then I'll switch the composter on and uh, save event on uh, zero. Uh, and the stacker. Stacker on uh, zero. Right, so okay, that's probably not too smart because I want the quantity still. So let's just say well, we'll just reuse R1 on those ones, switch it on. Whoops, right now, if that is greater than three, uh, we can save. Composter activate uh, zero. So if there's more than three items in there, we want to activate it. If there's more than three items or there's something in the slot, uh, we want to switch it on. That should do us. Uh, let's see if that works. Uh, well, let's put the chip in there first. That might work better. Yep. Oop. Export you. You should give me an error. Yeah, you are the composter. You are the active vent. I should only have one. I do. You are the stacker. Let's go the other way. Stacker. Vent. Uh, composter. Right. Right, now if I switch you on, you're switched off, you're switched off, and you're switched off. Now, we go, yeet, 
you switched on. You should be processing stuff. The vent is switched on. Now you've activated because you've got three items. The stacker is switched on. And you're all going. Wow, that worked. First go. Don't expect that to happen every time. Uh, okay. we got poop on the way. Um, right. We'll plant something in there. We can get the Harveys going. So I'll just need to name them and put them in. Uh, so I can name the Harveys. Uh, Harvey, one, one, and two, and one, three, hydroponics, one, one, whoop, one, two, and one, three. And I've got to hook them up to the bending machine as well. So not quite there yet. Ah, I see housing. Ah, RV1. Right. I switch you on. We want. Uh, the hydroponics on that side. So we hook up the hydroponics one one. Uh, one two and one three. And grab the Harvey one 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 two and oops one three and two and two right you should be good to go. Uh, now what did I have you set at? Um, import. Right, this is my Harvey code. I did a thing a while ago to show how this one works. So look up my history of videos if you want to see how this one works. So we've got uh, no seeds and we're going to use fertilizer. Um, right, that's what we want. So we'll hook up our pumpkins and our tomatoes. Some tomatoes? Yeah, they're only, only perennials, aren't they? Yeah, I don't really want tomatoes. Uh, but anyway, uh, that has switched off. Um, now, did I have any seeds? Ah, oh, we're in the other room. Damn it. Right, so I shall need set up you. Can I? Damn it. Uh, okay, I'll have to wait till there's a stack of them and then I can get them out. Um, yeah, we'll wait for them. No big rush. Uh, you can go back there. Uh, I had all that floor down. And I've run out of sheets. And you. And uh, you. Now, uh, you and you, you finish off the edge pieces there. 
and we're looking better. Right, we have a poop machine. So we've got some fertilizer on the way. Uh, we need to, well, we need to do a bit more over here, don't we? Uh, I had to get some pollutant. Ah. So I shall need to ventilate these. I could probably ventilate it from the room atmospherics, which is just there. So I'm essentially going to grow it in the same the same area. One of them I've just got to put in at a lower pressure. So I shall probably have to put an in and an out on this one here. Um, I don't have any way of individually controlling the gas that's in there. So I'll have to put in maybe an in vent at one side, an out vent at the other side, and just have it continually flowing through. If I take it from the room, room out here, this system will keep adding more to the room. So if I take it in and another one tucking it out and taking it straight outside where I can dump it. I'll have one in here with the air conditioner making it colder. I have another one coming in here which I can probably just have at a lower pressure. And just the circulating air might control the temperature. And the one over here I shall bring it in at the right temperature and pressure and dump the uh, pollutant in there. If I've got really cold or hot pollutant, I may need to put a temperature controller in there as well. Uh, wow, it's going to be tight in there. Um, right. Well, we'll see. Uh, you're not going anywhere in a hurry. Now, if I could pull the window out and get some fertiliser. Um, whoop. Oh, it's not switched on. There we go. Nope, you. Ah, I went to get on the back one. Oh, you're going to be a total dick now, aren't you? Well, maybe one window in there will be enough. Then I'll just be able to glitch through the window to get to the stacker. That's a better way of doing it. Ah, uh, right. I have my fertilizer. Now this is made from decayed food, so it should give me the best growth speed. Uh, do I want growth speed? I do for the ones over there. These ones are probably better off with yield. Well, the yield didn't do much, so I'll put in speed. Uh, I'll need some pumpkins, and that should be enough to make you lot fire up. Uh, I don't have any pumpkins. I'll need to go get some. That's right, I've got plenty of pumpkin seeds. Uh, right, sort you out. And green light over here. Um, right. Um, right, so... Here we go, we're warming up again. So uh, it's back up to 22 degrees, so we are warming up. I will eventually have to put a, a um, air conditioner in here. Uh, we'll get there. Uh, and maybe another chip to control the other one of these. So I shall need some, some regulators, vents. Vents might be too powerful, so maybe some uh, volume pumps. So I need volume pump, pump that in. I shall need volume pump to pump the atmosphere in. I shall need uh, pressure regulators to take it out, some vents, pipes, uh, room sensors, uh, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. 
You got nine pipes. I'll need some more of them too. Well, awesome. Uh, right, off we go. And I run out of drink. I don't have any seeds up here. Did I have seeds? I think I had some seeds down in the shroom room. Uh, right. Pumpkin seeds, got heaps of them. Um, yeah, that'll probably do us for now. Uh, so pumpkins, I need. Oh, I could pick a heap of shrooms. Ah. Uh, Got some seeds. How long do they take to go rotten? Five hours. Yeah, still a fair bit of time. Right. Uh, that's all we're after. Now I've got my pumpkin seeds, that's what I wanted. Now I've got it set so it's not going to pick seeds, it will only pick the fruit. Oh, I need the shoots, I need to hook it up. Um, now, well, the rockets are going top notch today. Now, I could uh, hook up the vents to it there, or I could move the vending machine over to here, which will go straight into the cooker, into the canner. Um, We'll see. You're happy. You're happy. Excellent. Uh, boop. Now I got two plants growing. Well, and the the shrubbery. Um. So I'll need some more fertilizer, which I am going to make with you. And you and that will take ages um yeah we'll eventually get there uh right so you lot are growing i need to hook up that i might just uh pull off those shoots for the meantime uh, there we go Uh, right. Damn it, rockets are everywhere. Um, right, so Harvey's are up and running. We have the lights up and running. I think we are at vertical, 8 degrees. Yes, those lights should be on. Uh, you are thriving, or oh, you're in darkness. Green moderately well. Why are you growing moderate, moderately well? I might go grab the little uh, sensor tool and have a look. 
And... Well, I suppose I only planted them a little while ago. They probably haven't got enough darkness yet. Nah, well. Now I had my plant thingy. Ah. Might just grab me spare cans as well. And back to the airlock again. Ow, and I face plant that door every time. Yeah. What is your problem? Uh, so growth fish fifty seven percent. Breathing's ninety nine. Oh why? Why are you ninety nine percent? Uh Got CO2, nitrogen. Okay, why not? Uh, it's within the ideal temperature range. It's within the pressure efficiency is good. The temperature efficiency is good. Light. Uh, let's try you. Light intensity, light efficiency, light stress. Okay, you haven't got enough darkness. Right. Uh, not enough darkness. Um, so you're 29 degrees. Once you hit 30, they should switch off. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting enough darkness. Right. Darkness received. Is that just because I planted them during the day and it hasn't had a night time yet? Uh, well, we'll see. I may have to put an extra dark time on there if it's... Uh, if it's uh, getting too much, I'm pretty sure we've got enough on there. But I guess we'll find out as we go. So, uh, our little torture chambers, I'll have to build them next time. Uh, well, at least get trying one of them up. Mm. Uh, rockets are doing their thing. I'll need to hook up the shoots on the Harveys. I shall need to get some more fertilizer, plant some more pumpkins, and and that sort of stuff. So how are we doing for today? What's our score? Ah, oh, you're still working. Uh, Oh well, we'll have to wait a bit. It is day 86. Uh, and still my 76 point, uh, point something. Uh, there we go. 76.61 yeah, it's, it's sort of sort of moving uh, well day 86 let's, let's go day uh, 86 uh, 76.61 minus uh, 
6.61 and the other one was 19.60 well that's gone up a fair bit uh, 29.60 That's not bad. That's going up 17 pascals. Uh, we only got 11 from the past, what, six days? We got 11. Now we got 17, and I had the uh, actual hydrogen burner turned off. Don't really understand how that works, but anyway. So I need to get some cold gas from here, because that's where I have a crap ton of pollutant, and it's cold. So, um, yeah, I might fill up a cold tank from there, take it upstairs, and uh, that'll probably do us. Uh, yeah, but anyway, we're getting closer very slowly, very, very slowly. Hopefully I can get the plants to grow at a low pressure and low temperature. But we'll find out. Anyway, that's about it for today, so till next time, happy building. See ya.